friends, it's Kaylee Bird. Welcome back to my studio. You know I'm always thrilled to have you. So today I have kind of a short little video of you today, just a little demo. I painted this adorable little 3D painting. Yes, that is a belly button with ferns all around it. I love it. This was not a huge challenge, but you know, there's always something to learn. And definitely I love making this because it was my first time incorporating all of the beautiful ferns from my Hawaii hikes in one of my pieces. So I hope you guys have a good time today. If you do, make sure you pop that subscribe button. It helps grow my channel and it makes sure you come back for all the artsy goodness. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for being here, guys. So this was a fun little painting to create. Rarely do I do something so small and uncomplicated that I can make an entire painting in one sitting. So it was fun to really watch it form all in one day. This painting surface was actually just a little piece of wood I had left over from another project that I had affixed some of my favorite oil primed Belgian linen to. I think I've had this painting surface for half a year, maybe a year. I just knew the right inspiration would come along. And it did actually on a hike. Uh, one of my friends and I were out there playing with some of the fern shadows on one of our hikes. It was a really bright day and we were taking some fun photos with the fern shadows in different areas. And this just sort of came about as a little bit of inspiration. And I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to use it. But as soon as I got home and saw the mini uh, painting service, I knew that that's what it was going to be for. As soon as I finished this first part of the painting, I actually did a post on Instagram asking people if they knew what it was, just because it was such an odd <laughs> little composition of, you know, a shadow on a belly button, so I wanted to see if it came through, and I had a number of people guessing and getting pretty close. One person finally got absolutely close, and I actually sent her a couple of my vinyl stickers as a little winner, so make sure you're following me on Instagram because I had a really good time. Uh, painting this and then having people guess and see what it was so I think in the future I will definitely do this again with some other small compositions And even though it's a very simple composition, this was actually a pretty challenging painting because I wanted to make sure that the fern looked like a shadow shape and not like an actual fern laying against the belly button. You wouldn't think it would be that difficult except the photo that I was using as a reference, the outline was so stark of that shadow shape that it really just looked like a fern from a simple compositional point of view. So I actually even softened the shadow on this. As you can see, as I paint, I slightly soften the edges just so that you can see a slight blur so it doesn't look quite as stark as an actual leaf. That was an artistic choice that I made just to make sure that it actually looked like a shadow, as well as sort of livening up the colors within the shadow shape. On the photo I got, it was pretty much just one stark, gray color and within my painting I decided to do sort of a warm gray lay down first as sort of a lighter one that would sort of feather out a little bit into the surrounding skin tone to show a slight fuzz a slight radiation and then I went back over it with a much darker gray that was a bit of a warmer gray sort of in the center so you'll get a little bit of warmth and a little bit of cool within my painting just to liven it up and also like I said to make it look more like a shadow shape than an actual fern sticking out of a belly button although either one would be totally cool.
And as soon as my piece is dried and cured, it is ready to get framed, sanded, and then filled in with resin. If you are curious about any of those steps, check below for links because I have videos detailing the entire process. I can tell you one thing for certain though, any successful resin layering process takes lots of patience and planning. It can literally take days to set, cure, and dry everything.